whenever possible, meaning unless you're speaking or eating or you're exercising or other activities require some change in your pattern of breathing, we should really all be striving to breathe through our nose, not through our mouth. And that relates to the increased resistance to breathing through the nose we talked about earlier. Again, I'll say it a third time, that increased resistance through the nose allows you to inflate your lungs more, not less. The other thing that breathing through your nose allows you to do is it both warms and moisturizes the air that you bring into your lungs, which is more favorable for lung health than breathing through the mouth. Hard breathing through the mouth or simply mouth breathing at all is actually quite damaging or can be, I should say, quite damaging to some of the respiratory functions of your lungs. That of course does not mean that you shouldn't breathe hard through your mouth when you're running or sprinting or exercising hard, but you don't want mouth breathing to be the chronic default pattern that you follow. Nasal breathing is the best pattern of breathing to follow as a default state.